Yo, what's up guys? This is Tweets here. Uh, in this video, it's going to be the part two to my previous one for custom zombies. Now, the previous one was the more simple, quick method of making a custom zombie. Now, I'm going to show you a little more detail to make it more customizable. So... First things first, there is something that I did miss in the last video. In your P3D, let me just change my background here because I don't know why I set it to that. Let me just adjust that. All right, you can, uh, if you ever want to change the background in your object builder, that's pretty much how you do it. <laughs> there we go, and then restart it. All right, so anyways, what I missed is after you were done making your model, you did all your res logs, go in on each one, select your model, and double tap W. Hit it twice. Do it on each of your resolution logs. Because when you decimate, to make your resolution logs, the armor tools kind of like reverse or mess with your model a little bit. So all you got to do is go to each one, your 0 0.000 all the way down to 4.000. Just select your whole model and double tap W two times. That's it. Just hit it twice and then save it. And then that that's it that I missed. The other thing, which I added, I, I, I added a little edit. In the description explaining this but the other thing that i missed was when i was talking about the proxies make sure they are weighted to the section so like if you have it wearing a vest make sure it is weighted to like spine to uh we'll say spine to make sure it's weighted to that just like you would do if you're making a vest and you want to add the proxies for like the pouches or holster you weight that to the the vest as well and that those are the two things that i missed but anyways for this part two we don't need to mess with anything with the model or <clears throat> rv mat textures none of that we are going to use a new confade so this new confade it is You'll see it is a lot longer. And it's just combined in the infected um, portions of the vanilla and zombie base. And it's just adding things like up here. So you got your movement speeds, your sprint speeds, your runs when it's calm, the alert system, <clears throat> and then you got your, so these are your damage, like hit mat, so this is how, tells you how strong this thing could be if you hit, so you can up, lower, or raise these numbers, how, however you want it to, however strong you want this thing to be, to hit, and how hard you want it to hit, so pretty much it's, just the same before you have your CFG patches with your required add-ons, your CFG mods, just like in the last video. But now you have CI, CFG AI behaviors, and then you're just going to keep these base classes, which are vanilla. Everything here is all vanilla. But you're going to change, like here I got custom zombie, and you want it right here for the name. And then down here, you don't you can you can mess with how how fast this thing's gonna be by raising or lowering these numbers. Um, the alert system you can raise lower those all you want. Um, <clears throat> and now we're down to the CFG vehicles up for your actual class for the zomb the zombie. So we got the base class here which is based after the zombie male base. 
and then we obviously have the display, the model path, this damage stuff that I was talking to you about, hitmen, hit mats, all that stuff. And now the AI agent template, I got custom zombie here. That is this class up here that I was just talking about. The infect custom zombie. So you want that class name right there. And then attachments will be zero or what whatever attachments you choose. But I went over that in the last video for attachments. Um, camo for your hidden selection, whatever you used. ZB to, I used camo. Path to your textures. And now these are all the animations for how it moves, which I just did vit vanilla. You scroll down. Now here we got the main class. So this is... We had, that was all the base class. Now this is the actual item. So this is the zombie itself. And obviously scope two, because you want this thing to actually spawn in. Um, cargo, so cargo size, your damage system. So you got your health hit points and your health levels. And then component name. So you got head, headgear, and so that that's you know inventory slot for those items which this is for each item so this is the head so everything here covers the head torso and you, you're using you, as you see it it's the weights for those and then the slots for the torso is obviously vest body back these are all for like attachments inventory slots what Okay, and then we got the left arm, right arm. So you want to give it each health points for each one. So you could say, make a certain spot weaker. So you want to make the head weaker. You can lower the health points on the head, but keep in the other ones lower or vice versa or torso weaker or whatever. Make a certain spot on it a little weaker than others. You can do that by getting it because it's all split up into each body part so we got right leg left leg um left foot so that's pretty much this is for and damage so that's pretty much what this is for it's all separated so you can adjust each one to make it either more or less so you can have weak spots or keep it all the same now, this is for when you're skinning. So, I gave it, for shits and tickles, I just put wolf states. Um, and then, the head. Now, you're not going to need to change any of the zone parts. But, this is what you'll get when you skin it, would be the item. So, item be the states. The head, if you guys made a head. And then guts. And then now we're in the sound sets. So much like the weapons, when you're doing custom sounds, you're going to make a CFG sound set. So you're going to have your sound set, which are your shaders, which are down here. I made all these custom shaders. Now you're going to have these base classes here, which are sample. So this is for neutral, um, idle, just stuff like that. It, you could just copy it, paste it just as is, and change sample to whatever you guys. I, ju I use sample just so it's easier for you guys to change it to whatever you want. Um, and then you have your shaders set under sound shader. For the attack sound, hit sound, scream sound. And then you got your shaders down here, which is the paths to your your OGG's sound files, which you would create a folder and put your sounds in there. And then path it to there. And then you set these I just went with vanilla. These are the sound tables. 
which I just kept vanilla. So it's what it pretty much what it sounds like when it's in water near water or on plants or or falls on rocks or dirt or pavement. That's pretty much all this this is for. But you're gonna see here now when we go up once you get the sound stuff done, you're in your base class here. Back to the base class. Your an anim events. You're gonna scroll down, and you see where I have noise sprint sprint three. You're gonna want to change to once you get to sounds right here. Sounds attack light one light two heavy one heavy two voice loud hit. These are gonna be your sample your your sound sets. So I have my the sample attacks here, uh, sample hits for hit, obviously, and then attack, and then scream. I kept jump, land, vanilla. That's just all I did there. <clears throat> but that's that's pretty much it. This is just a more, more detailed config where you can be more customizable to change the speed of the walking, running, sprint, um, the distance it's triggered, the damage of the hits when it swings at you, the sounds, um, the damage of each limb. That's pretty much what this is. And this is so you can really fully customize your zombie or creature, whatever you're making. Um, that That's pretty much all you'll have to change is that config. And then add your sounds. You're not going to have to mess with the script that I talked about in the previous video. I didn't change anything there unless you want to make it bigger or smaller. Um, nothing was changed there. So this file will be linked in the description. So you can make the changes and work from here if you want. Sometimes it's easier to just work from one that's already done and copy paste, change your class names and paths and whatever uh, adjustments you want to make to the levels and stuff. Sometimes it's easier that way. So I provide the files in all my videos pretty much. But yeah, other than that, that's really all you have to do to make it a fully customizable creature or zombie. And then you'll be in game. And then, oh, let me make sure I'm in gun mode. What you end up with, let's let's get me a gun here though. We'll go with that. Uh, you know what, we're gonna go with an LAR just cause 308 in this thing, I did make it a little more beefier. All right. So, we're going to pull up this gun here, get it loaded, and of course the, uh, the mag never spawned in. Gotta love the tools sometimes. Alright, and there we go. Alright, so now let's get the actual zombie in. So, you'll notice in my last video of how bad the zombie actually looked during the testing phase. Uh, and that was because I forgot to do the double tap of the W on each LOD that I told you about at the beginning of the video. And now you'll see that it looks a lot better. And you'll see that it sounds different. And you'll see there's a lot of changes. Now it sounds a little weird because these are sounds that I used for a werewolf that I made, I'm just re re reusing the sounds. So I, I didn't feel like going around looking for new sounds. And there's, there's a drone. You probably couldn't hear me over that. And then it's got that little growl after you kill it. It is strong. Um, but yeah, that took a few LAR rounds, 308. But it, you'll see it's a little better that way. It looks better than it did in the last video. 
but also it's more customizable now. So, like I said, just copy, paste here to make it easier. Change your class names, your paths, and then just have fun with it. Adjust what you want. Trial error, you know, test it all out, and then you'll make some cool stuff. But yeah, like I said, link in the description. We'll have the file. And if you have any questions, join my Discord, which is also linked below. Until the next one, see you guys. Thank you.